Hello, my name is Liza, and today I'd like to share with you my little happy anniversary Halloween We're Dead in a Coffin decor piece. We're celebrating 40 years this year, and I just thought it would be a fun addition. I used two of the skeletons that come from the Dollar Tree garland, some of the foam core board. I drew up a sketch uh, template of a coffin that would fit my two skeletons. You need one of these unpainted um, hanging signs, some of the dried Spanish moss, a pot holder, black one, some sheets of the Reynolds Wrap aluminum foil that Dollar Tree carries. This is optional, but I wanted a decorative coffin, so I used an embossing folder on a big shot. Since mine is a picture frame, I used a um, picture that I had. I printed it out in black and white though. And then I snipped my skeletons at all the joints. I didn't cut their limbs off, but I did snip them so they were more po easily poseable. And I gave them two coats of white chalk paint. While the skeletons were drying, I used the template that I drew up for the coffin and I traced it onto the foam core board and cut it out. Once that was cut out, I cut two inch strip a two inch long strips of the foam core board and I used that to make my size of the coffin. Then I started to hot glue all the pieces on starting at the bottom and then I worked my way up on both of the lower sides and then I moved up to the top and this is what it will look like when you're all glued together. You may have some gaps, it's okay. We're covering, covering them with the aluminum foil. Your skeletons are not going to escape, so don't worry. Plop your skeletons in just to make sure that your coffin will fit them. Next, lay your coffin on top of a piece of the um, aluminum foil sheeting, and then wrap your coffin like you were, would be wrapping a, a present. It doesn't matter that it's going to look funky because we're going to put a decorative piece around it. Then I took uh, more of the aluminum foil and I folded it up into about a one and a half inch strip and I ran it through my embossing folder, through my embossing machine, and then I have my decorative sides that I put some two-sided tape on and then I just adhered them to the outside of my coffin. Then I also took some uh, black paint and I dry brushed the um, outer edges just to make it look like um, the coffin's been sitting in underground for a while. I also dry brushed some uh, paint onto the skeleton so they didn't look so pristine because who knows what they were doing in their coffin while we weren't looking, right? I also painted their eyes black. Then I glued them together in a um, romantic position and we needed to make the inside of the coffin comfy so I took apart one of the pot holders and then I separated um, the back piece of cotton with the rest of the pot holder, and I traced out the fabric with that still had the um, stuffing, which is kind of like dryer lint, so I kind of skeeved. And then I just also cut some strips so we could line the sides of the coffin inside. So I glued those um, lining onto the sides and then I placed my uh, cotton batting, whatever that stuff is on the bottom, and then put my sides down again and then laid the quilted piece on top of that. And now my coffin was looking very comfy. And then I wanted to give my, um, skeletons, their wedding bands. So I used some of the gold glitter glue and I just put them on their ring fingers. 
Then I glued them into the coffin because it will be in a standing position. I didn't want them to fall out. Don't they look so lovey-dovey? And here you can see them at the side angle. Then I took the wood um, hanging sign and I gave it a coat of elephant chalk paint. And then while that was drying, I just took a spare piece of, um, of the foam core board and I just kind of cut out something that would look like a tombstone. And I added a little heart to the top and I hand wrote with a silver pen their grave, whatever it says on their grave. And I glued that onto the wooden plaque. And then I added some of the Spanish moss. And then I was originally going to just leave it with a picture frame and put our picture in it. And then I thought, no, I think I want to make an actual coffin lid. So once again, I took my template and a piece of the foam core board and I traced it out and cut it out with an X-Acto knife, which by the way, the X-Acto knife from Dollar Tree works really good on the foam core board. And then I covered that up with aluminum foil. And then again, I ran another piece of aluminum foil through the embossing machine to, and scuffed it up with the black paint. And then um, here it is how it, it will be on the stand and then I took my picture and then I found an image and imported it into my Cricut and I made a frame and then my black and white picture went in the frame and I glued that to the lid of my coffin and I glued my lid to the coffin and the base and my project was done. Oh, and I did give myself some hair because, you know, your hair still continues growing. And there you can see the wedding bands. I hope you enjoyed my project. If you did, oh, there's Quarantino checking it out. He's always in my stuff. I hope you enjoyed our project. If you did, please give my video a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. And as always, if you aren't already subscribing, please consider doing so. Quarantino and I will be back again soon with another project. Thanks for watching. Take care.